Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. Tricks, traps, blunders, and the Vienna game disasters. Let's start. e4, e5, knight to c3, because white wants to play a4, maybe. Knight to c6, bishop to c4, knight to a5, attacking the bishop. Should white play? Bishop to b5, bishop to b3, or what would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Play with the white pieces in this game? Sacrifice the bishop on f7. Is this something that you would also do? This is check. King to e7. Let's take it back. If king takes bishop, what happens then? Then check. And attack. g6. Queen takes on e5. But after knight to c6, white would capture the rook. And he would have to be careful not to lose the queen. Back to our game. We have king to e7. Bishop takes knight. Rook takes bishop. Knight to d5 check. King to d6. White to move. What would be the obvious move in this position? d4, intending to open the d-file. e takes on d4. White played a move and black resigned and the move is bishop to f4 check. Black resigned. Next game. This game was played in Adelaide in 1960. e4, e5, knight to c3. Again, going for the Vienna game. Knight to f6, bishop to c4. Bishop to c5, discouraging f4. d3, d6, pinning the knight. Black to move. Black found a clever move. To win a pawn. He played. Bishop takes on f2, check. King takes bishop. Knight to g4, and when the king moves, queen takes bishop on g5. What is the best square for the king? What would you do? Play with the white pieces, capture the knight. Black to move. f6 was played. Well, if bishop takes on g4, bishop takes queen, and after king takes bishop, white is better materially. Back to our game. F6 was played. But white played the move and black resigned. And the move is queen to f3. Black resigned in view of this continuation. Pawn takes bishop. Queen to f7 checkmate. Next game. e4, knight to f6. Do I lay in defense? Not accepted. Knight to c3. e5. Bishop to c4. Knight takes on e4. White to move. Queen to h5. And bishop takes on f7. Are the two most played moves in this position. Play with the white pieces. Play knight takes on e4. d5. Bishop takes on d5. Queen takes on d5. d3. Bishop to f5, queen to f3, attacking the bishop. And this is the critical position of the game. It is black to move. What would you do in this position if you had black pieces? Would you play bishop to e6 or bishop to g6? Play with the black pieces, play bishop to g6. But this move has a tiny downside. And that is... What is it? White play the move and black resigned, then the move is knight to f6 check. Black resigned in view of this continuation. Pawn takes knight, queen takes queen. Next game. e4, e5, knight to c3, knight to f6, bishop to c4, knight takes on e4 again, bishop takes on f7 check, king takes bishop, Knight takes on e4, knight to c6, let's take it back. d5 would be the best move for black in this position. 
knight to c6 and now queen to f3 check king to g8 knight to g5 threatening check mate queen to e7 what happens if queen takes knight then queen to d5 check mate back to our game that is why play with the black pieces played queen to e7 white to move how would you continue now white play the move and black designed and the move is queen to d5 check black resigned next game e4 e5 knight to c3 knight to f6 and now finally f4 pawn takes pawn on f4 d4 g5 this is the vienna game vienna gambit bishop to c4 bishop to g7 white to move how would you continue e5 is asking to be played isn't it e5 and where is the knight going the knight went back home white to move how would you continue the development now play with the white pieces played queen to h5 nothing serious just threatening checkmate queen to e7 defending but now knight to d5 attacking the queen and the pawn on c7 the black queen and home too all black pieces are at home nobody wants to work today except the bishop on g7 white to move how would you continue what would you do white play the move and black resigned and the move is knight to f6 check black resigned if bishop takes knight then queen takes pawn on f7 check mate what do you think of this vienna game miniatures and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now